Hello and welcome to my workshop. So as promised, today we're going to cut this uh, fourth axis piece on the uh, 6012. Uh, actually you're going to get a double dose today because over here we have a, a beautiful piece of, I think this is black wood. Um, it is I've had this for more than five years and it's dried out so this is about um, it's about six inches about 150 mil diameter uh, but it's a lovely piece of wood beautiful piece of wood log and if you can see the actual markings in there I think this is going to turn out to be a very nice piece of wood uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the lathe and I'm going to uh, turn this down quickly to a, a cylinder just slightly bigger than 100 millimeters diameter uh, and it's about the right length and uh, we're gonna, then we're going to put this in the fourth axis and machine that actually what looks more like a goblet than a, than a vase um, I was quite surprised the way it turned out um, I like it a lot so I think it's going to be quite special when it's finished so what I'm going to do now is drill in both ends uh, put it on the screw spike here bring the tail stock up and uh, I'll do a lot of, a lot of fast forwarding uh, high speed um, video in and uh, we'll get this machine down pretty quick and then we'll put it in the uh, fourth axis and machine it Okay, so what I have done, I have disconnected the A axis and connected up the A axis wiring into the X axis driver. Now, the only one that's left there is this one. This comes from the computer via the Mark III board. Uh, this is still the X axis and these two going out uh, to the servo drive motor okay <coughs> so if we come here now to Mac 3 if I can hold the camera and show you this at the same time so I come here to config motor tuning and you'll see that the x-axis is actually changed to the um, the old setting of the A axis, there's the A axis there and this was the setting for the X axis so just to prove to you that I have swapped it over now then here we have the controller it's set on X So indeed, the x-axis is actually running the a-axis. So in other words, what we've done is we have slaved the a-axis to the x-axis driver. So now this is already set 
really to go. All I have to do now is clamp this down in place and uh, if you notice too that before I disconnected the X axes um, I have set this up in the middle of the middle of the gantry um, and now we're dead in line over the center of the rotary axis so now I can clamp this onto my waste sheet in place ready for um, the piece of material to go in there for us to do this cut right so it's all secure now and um, so it's between the tailstock and the chuck it's all tightened up um, it is actually just over it, it's it's um, 330 millimeters long which gives me plenty of room up here because this is quite a large cutter I don't want to go digging it into the the, the chuck mouth or teeth here uh, so I want a little band here that's left there's not going to be much left but a little bit it gives me a little bit of leeway um, and now I'm going to set the zeros okay so in this case the A uh, the Y and the Z. Don't forget the X is taking part of the A axis. And just to prove it is set on on X. Can you hear that going? You see that going? Okay so now I'm going to set it Okay. I'm going to make that my zero for my A axis. And I'm going to bring the gantry up. So we're going to put that on Y. A little bit faster. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to set the, the Y about 5 millimeter from the end, uh, maybe a little bit more. Approximately 3 millimeter. Um, I'll, f I'll zoom in on that so you can, you can see what, exactly what I'm doing because I'm going to set the Z as well. Okay, so you got a you got a good view there now. So I'm I'm happy with the the Y being three millimeter just over the end. So now I'm going to bring the Z down. Very quietly. Just touching. Okay, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to set that as the zero point. Okay, so now I'm going to set the zero point of the three axes uh, which is said said y and this is the a axis don't forget and we're going to regen and it puts the piece of material in the correct spot or what Mark 3 perceives as the correct spot because really the X is over here in the middle in in reality okay so we're going to start this just like a normal job and press 
start. Now I've got the feed rate turned right down to uh, about 30, 40%, 30%. I'm even going to go a little slower because this is a big tool to plunge in. This is quite a coarse cut. Um,
Isn't that rather nice? So that goes to proof you can successfully um, take an X axis G code and run it on a rotary axis. So I hope you've enjoyed the video or these last two videos, all three, um, on fourth or rotary axes on 6012. Um, I hope you understand how I've done it in AppCam. The video preceding this um, goes into quite uh, lengthy detail of uh, how to put something like this, how to create something like this, create your own 3D relief or 4D relief <laughs> um, in AppCam and how to machine it just using three axes and how easy the process is. So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please press like, subscribe to my channel. That's always a good thing to do. Little red box down in that corner. If you're looking on a computer or a TV, I understand. You press on that, that'll take you directly to my YouTube channel, of which I have two channels now. This one, the Australian Inventors Workshop, and my secondary channel, which is devoted to lasers. Um, so there's now over 250 between the two channels for you to choose from, from lasers, CNC routers, Mac 3, App Cam, shop jobs that I do around here. I do a lot of wood turning and that's very successful. Um, furniture making, I actually show you how to make furniture, how to make your own furniture. You don't have to use exotic materials, pine's fine, even you know things like um, plyboard, it's fine. So thank you for joining me and it's bye for now.